Hey guys, what's up? It's Tree Bros. This is the one here just to pretend to take a bite out of this video. And today, I have my very first weekly League of Legends beginner's guide for Rise. And why am I doing Rise? Because he is my favorite champion and actually one of the strongest mid laners in the game. And if you don't believe me, just ask one of the best mid laners in the world, TPA Toys. And also, Rise is my favorite champion, so I, sh I thought for my very first League of Legends Beginner's Guide, a uh, weekly guide, going to put one of these out every Saturday, uh, I'd do Rise because he is my favorite champion. Today we are going to be going over two builds. The, both of these builds are very situational and just kind of how you feel like playing. And you can kind of mix and match parts of them together if you want. Then I'm also going to be going over the play style and some cool things you could do with Rise. Okay, so your very first decision or choice that you have is right in Champion Select. Where you could either pick Flash or Ignite. And obviously, we're going to be going over the Rune and Mastery pages that you need to do. Those don't change, but you're either going to want to pick Ignite or Teleport. Um... And flash. You always want to have flash. Flash is pretty much good on every single champion in the game. There's always flash. Um, and then you either need to pick teleport or ignite. So if you're playing ranked, this definitely can depend on what kind of team you're going up against or the kind of play style that you're going to want to go for in game. Yeah, okay, so my masteries are pretty straightforward. I go 9 0 21. So in the offensive tree, I like to go the cooldown reduction, um, ability power, and uh, magic pen and all that good stuff in there. You don't really need to put any more in there, actually. So then I just go straight over to the utility tree, uh, where I then start getting stuff in there, like the move speed and buff duration and all that. I do not go for the biscuit, actually, because I actually rather have, instead of the biscuit, have more spell vamp and stuff like that in the utility tree. Okay, so now on to the room page. I use kind of a different room page for Rise. I go movement speed as the quints, a magic pen as the reds, uh, mana, re no, yeah, mana regen as the seals, I believe, and then cooldown reduction as the glyphs. Uh, so it's kind of a decently standard page. The movement speed, you don't need much AP on Rise, so I trade AP out for movement speed on him, which is really, really helpful. Cooldown reduction is also always good on Rise. You get your Qs out in like a, a second and a half. Magic Pen is obviously good, and Mana Regen is just really good on Rise too. Okay, now first off, now that we're into the game, I would like to tell everybody to put their um, abilities on SmartCast. So how you do that is you go to Key Bindings, and then you uh, go to SmartCast, do QWE, that's what I do on Rise. It makes it really easy to use your abilities without having to hold shift the entire game. And while they're on SmartCast, all you have to do is hold your cursor over the champion you want to attack, press your Q button, and then you'll throw your Q at them. Use that on your QWE and it will help you so much when using Rise. And second off, before we get into the build this video, uh, this gameplay, this was the only game I was able to play today, sadly, but it was an epic one. I might actually do a full game commentary after this guide, because it was a really good game. So, we have a Tarek and a Kha'Zix jungling, which is something you don't see often uh, at all. Tarek jungle and then a Kha'Zix jungle along with that. So, the Kha'Zix ends up rage quitting, but... We do actually end up winning in a massive, freaking great game, uh, which is what you're going to be seeing here. I, I will probably be doing a full game commentary on it later, but this uh, the standards for this game were kind of weird, so I don't I may not do the exact build that I'm specifying in this video, but trust me, the builds that I'm specify specifying in this video will almost always be better than the builds I use in this video, unless it's very situational, like this one. Okay, so typically at the start of the game, you're either going to want to buy the Sapphire Crystal and Potions or the Crystalline Flash Flask and Potions. Um, this game I went Flask because I was versing a Nidalee because whenever I play Rise and Record, I always have to verse a freaking Nidalee. 
So, I really wanted that extra sustain instead of the damage with the mana. But then after that, you're always going to want to build this item on Rise. It is the core component to every Rise's build and game plan. It is one of the best items ever for Rise. It is so good. And it is the tier of the goddess. This, no exceptions ever. You always get this on Rise. Okay, so now we're going to start getting into later game stuff. Where you're going to immediately after getting your tier, you're going to want to start on your Rod of Ages. So after you've gotten that Rod of Ages, um, that's going to be stacking throughout the entire game. Giving you more and more stats, which is just amazing. Then after that, you're either going to want to build a Frozen Heart or a Banshee's Veil, depending on the enemy team. If they have a lot of AD that are pretty beefy and scary, get a Frozen Heart. If they have a lot of AP and a lot of like one-hit abilities like Blitzcrank or Nidalee, get a Banshee's Veil. And after you've done that, finish off your Archangel Staff or, this is another part of the second build, um, I'm kind of meshing them all together. You could also get a Muramana and then after you got that Muramana, then work on your Archangel Staff after. But that gives you a little bit less survivability. Um, but after you got that, you could pretty much then either get um, the other one. So let's say if you got Banshee's Veil, then you could get Frozen Heart the next game. And then you could sacrifice your Nunu Yu-Gi-Oh card to get a Triforce. Nah, I'm just kidding guys about that last part. Um, but as you can probably tell from the build, Ryze is a very mana reliant champion. And you always need to be getting him a ton of mana to increase his damage, increase the amount of abilities he could use, and also increase his survivability. So after you've gotten all those items and yada yada yada, you could always get, you know, guardian angels and get your boots up and all that. Um, I recommend Sork boots um, for the magic penetration. They're typically always the best. But other than that, that's pretty much the build and the runes and everything else. Now let's get into some of the gameplay mechanics. Okay, so for the gameplay mechanics of Rise is that there isn't really much. Like, all you need to really realize when you're playing Rise is that I'm a very straightforward caster, very easy to play. I need a lot of mana, and my abilities are not even skill shots. Very easy to play, that's the reason why I picked this champion. And then, just get a lot of mana, know your role, and it's really easy in team fights to position yourself. Um, try to snare their AD carries and take them down. And, you know, just... The gameplay mechanics aren't hard to grasp. Uh, you'll pretty much get them in no time. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Uh, I did put quite a bit of effort into it, you know. But I only did it in one day. It was very short notice of this. But I really want to make these guys on Sundays. So if you guys uh, want to keep getting beginner guides from me and stuff... Don't forget to subscribe for a weekly guide every week on Saturday. And I will be doing, yeah, one every Saturday. So don't forget to subscribe. But before I leave you guys, here are some badass Rise plays in this game I recorded. Where it has a very epic ending and just epicness all around. It was a really good game and it was a 4v5. So this also just shows the late game potential of Rise. Thank you all for watching. See you guys later.